Kavis AD, violinist and music educator, back with another lesson in my series called Essential Elements for Strings, Book One. This lesson series works for violin and viola, but cello and bass players can also follow along. If you don't know how to tune your violin or you forgot how to rosin your bow, which you're going to want to do before each lesson, you can find those lessons in my playlist right there. Click on my name on my channel, find playlist, click on that, and Essential Elements for Strings is the playlist that you want. So go ahead and get your book out, open up to page 30. So what I'm going to do today is a play along lesson where you play every song with me three times. Get ready for 116, Song for Maria. I'm going to count to three and on the fourth beat you're going to play the pickup. So it's going to sound like this. Don't play yet. One, two, three, four, one. That's where you play with me. Go ahead and get ready. One, two, three. One more time. Good work. Don't forget to read the section on theory in between these two songs that tells you about a DC Alfine. Kind of like a repeat, you're gonna play all the way to the end. DC means da capo, to the top, to the head. That means to the beginning. So you go back to the beginning and you play, play, play until it says fine. And we're gonna play this song twice together. And I'll talk to you while we play the first time. Ready? One, two, play now. Da capo. Fine means end. All right, going on to 118. Don't forget you're playing the A part when you play these songs. And this has upbeats going into the first measure, also called a pickup. You're going to also want to look at the very last measure. It's going to have a tie in it, so don't forget dotted half has three beats plus that extra quarter note equals four total beats. So when I play this song, I'm going to count one, two, three, one. And you're going to hear that pickup. Go ahead and get ready to play for an A. I'm going to play the A part with you the first time, and the second time I'll play the B part, you play the A part. Ready? One, two, three, one. Rest. Half note rest. One, two, three, go. And rest. One, two, three, rest. Two, three, tie. All right. 
if that was tough, don't forget to pause the video to practice. Don't forget I said this is a play along video, so we're going to be playing a lot in this one going on to 31. Number 119, play it twice. Go ahead and get ready to play your G major scale on the G string. So lift up your right arm, left wrist straight, nice and relaxed and loose, big bows. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good. Now at 120, I'm going to count to three, not to four, because we're in three, four time. Bow on the G string, play it twice. One, two, three. <laughs> Good. 121 is in 2 4 time. 121. Get ready. I'm going to count. 1, 2. Eight, eight quarter. T, 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 half. Note again. Don't forget, we skipped notes in the scale. What's that called? An arpeggio. 122 with slurs. Remember, slurs have two or more notes in one bow. 122, play it twice. I'm going to count to four. Get ready to play. One, two, three, four. One twenty three has three notes in a slur and then a dotted half note. Get ready, we're going to play the whole song twice. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Beginning, go. Two, three. One, two, three. Three, stop. All right. 124 in 2 4 time. 124. I'm going to count to two. Ready? One, two, and. Again, lift your bow. All right, good job. Going on to 125. I'm just going to play this for you. Jingli Nona, I think that's how it's pronounced. And you could practice this for homework 125. One, two, three. First ending, back 
to the first measure. So, like I said, this one was a play-along lesson and something I usually don't do in this series. But remember how we practice pretty much in every lesson before this one. We pause the video, we practice the hard bit until we can get it three times in a row. Then we went on to the next two measures and did the same and then put the song back together. Obviously, to make it easier, the easiest thing to do is to go slower when you practice all right that's going to make it a lot easier because your brain is looking at the notes and gives your brain time to get ready for the fingers that are coming up all right kava Sadie here want to say thank you so much for practicing along with me today go ahead and click subscribe also head to my playlist and hit the three dots and also press save on there so you're aware of new lessons as they pop up. If you want to hear some music I wrote, you can explore down in my channel. I also have some equipment reviews and some other stuff I have going on. All right, folks. See you later. Peace.